Sun is a gigantic nuclear fusion reactor in space. And the universe is a vast storehouse of information about the world of atoms. High energy rays constantly rain down upon the Earth from the outer reaches of space. Before the days of the cyclotrons, cosmic rays were man's only source of information for studying the high energy phenomena of atomic nuclei and elementary particles. Rikin has been continuously engaged in the observation and study of cosmic rays since 1937. Cloud chambers are a valuable tool for the study of elementary particles. In 1938, Rikens, Dr. Nishina, took a picture of a muon using this cloud chamber. This was a landmark in the discovery of elementary particles. Today, as one of the data centers of the worldwide network for cosmic ray observation, Riken is acting in both observation and data analysis. It has been made gradually obvious that the amount of cosmic rays falling upon the Earth is inversely proportional to the sunspot activities, which increase and decrease following the cycle of about 10 years. Various data collected over a long period of time are of great help for long-term meteorological forecasts. We learn a great deal from the universe, how nature changes in its various aspects. Cosmic dust is thought to be made up of the earliest solid particles formed at the time the Milky Way was created. Geochemistry seeks to clarify the mechanism of the birth of materials by studying the structures of meteorites and cosmic dust. X-ray analysis is used to study the materials which constitute meteorites and cosmic dust. In these analytical tests, Riken has been meeting various social needs. The use of the magnetic field for controlling chemical reactions, the dream of chemical scientists, has been put into practice at Riken's Physical Organic Chemistry Laboratory. This graph shows the sharp increase in reaction rate as the magnetic field becomes stronger. The result is a higher yield of products. New chemical studies, including those on the effect of magnetic fields, are expected to trigger great advances in a number of industrial fields. Deformation processing is one of the most important technologies in today's automobile industry. Investigations are being made into the intriguing question of what happens when a force is applied to a material having elasticity, viscosity and plasticity. Under the electron microscope, the lattice defects of crystals are visualized as black streaks. When force is applied, the lattice defect moves by repeating growth and disappearance.
these microscopic behaviors are directly reflected in the microscopic shape and mechanical properties of the metal. Deformation processing engineering provide a link between mechanical and material engineering. Riken's Deformation Processing Laboratory operates as the nucleus of joint research to help automobile and steel industries playing a leading role in enhancing the international level. The independence of a modern nation depends largely on its having an independent foundation in science and technology. Rikin was established in 1917 to provide Japan with such a foundation. Then, following the ordeals of the post four years, Rikin was re-established in 1958 as Japan's only non-profit corporation devoted solely to comprehensive research in science and technology. Rikin's research activities range from nuclear physics to microbiology. These far-reaching activities are supported by rigorous techniques which reach down to the molecular and atomic level. Interdisciplinary studies are transcending the boundaries of specialized fields and a flexible attitude towards the practical application of theoretical results are a part of Rickens' approach. to high energies are injected onto target materials to study the structures of their nuclei, atoms and molecules through scattering. The studies on these new phenomena will lead to the birth of new materials and how to help clarify yet unknown laws of nature at work. Our technical division has developed a device for examining to what extent the solar cells of a satellite can withstand the impact of collision with protons, known as the solar winds in space. The sporadically seen white spots of foam are the deposits of helium particles at the grain boundaries of crystals causing deterioration of nuclear reactor materials. Here, helium ions accelerated 10% of the velocity of light simulate in a short time the deterioration of the nuclear reactor material which would otherwise take many years. Accurate acceleration of heavy ions and analysis of the reactions they cause have been enabled by advances in computer science. This baby cyclotron was developed by Rickens Accelerator Group as a practical device for use in medicine. It facilitates the safe use of radioactive isotopes in medical diagnosis. Since the 1960s, Rickin has made intensive studies in laser science, especially in the chemical field where intense monochromatic laser light can be used to promote specific reactions. Proper choice of the wavelength of the laser light results in the excitation of only specific molecules. This laser-induced selective reaction can be applied, for example, to separation and enrichment of tritium, the fuel for nuclear fusion. Laser can also be utilized for cytoengineering. In the technology of transferring different kinds of genes into cells, cells have been processed by chemical substances or pricked a hole with a tiny needle under an optical microscope for DNA injection. Rickin has developed a new system 
using a fine ultraviolet pulsed laser beam for the first time in the world to make a hole in the cell membrane instantaneously, through which DNA is injected from culture solution into the cell nucleus. This device features an easy indication of the laser irradiation on cell materials, microactivity by displaying it as a macro image. This has opened the way to an accurate and efficient transfer of genes. Compared with the conventional injection method, this system has greatly increased the cell processing speed and gene revelation efficiency. Computers are good at numerical computation, but they will need a specially prepared program to solve mathematical formulas. Rikin has developed a formula manipulation software in collaboration with universities in the United States and Britain. Rikin has also developed a computer exclusively designed for formula processing. A formula which would take a man half a year to work out can be solved in just half a day using Rikin's formula manipulation software. And when the newly designed computer is completed, this will be reduced to about an hour. This computer will play an important role in further advancing various fields of science and technology. Joseph's injunctions have high sensitivity, high speed response and low power dissipation. Because of these properties, they are attracting much attention as one of the most promising switching elements for fifth generation computers, as well as for various kinds of ultra high sensitivity sensors. In 1980, Rickens Microwave Physics Laboratory developed the world's first high performance quasi planar Joseph's injunction. The weak links of KSI planar Joseph's injunctions produced by electron beam lithography are about one micron wide. Here's the flow of superconducting current in the quasi planar junction. In superconduction, electrons are transferred through the weak link across the side of the spacer between the two superconductor electrodes. In tests conducted with a radio telescope at the National Radio Observatory in Nobuyama, it has been confirmed that the performance of the junction makes it usable as a high sensitivity millimeter wave detector. Astronomical studies are currently underway to clarify the spiral structure of extra galactic nebulas using feeble radio waves picked up from the galaxy Andromeda. Photosynthesis, the wondrous process developed by plants through ages of evolution. Solar energy science is devoted to scientifically clarifying this process and in this way, helping to solve the energy problems the world faces today. Rikin is actively engaged in joint studies on this subject with the United States and other countries. Chloroplasts isolated from plants are exposed to laser pulses to observe reactions occurring in extremely short periods of time. The aim of these experiments is molecular level observation of the mechanism by which plants use light to decompose water. Also underway is another kind of research directed to utilizing the reaction of photosynthesis to generate hydrogen gas for use as a clean energy source. Genetic information is conditionally decided by the sequence of only four kinds of DNA bases, the genetic elements. The recombinant DNA technology, 
by which DNA fragments of higher animals are isolated for breeding in safe microorganisms has become the leading method in biotechnology. The successful isolation in 1966 of S1 nuclease, which cleaves a single-strand DNA at Ricken's Microbiology Laboratory, was soon followed by continual discoveries of enzymes for DNA studies, such as restriction enzymes and DNA ligases. In the recombinant DNA research, the effective genes of an animal are isolated by restriction enzyme, planted in vector DNA for later growth in a host microorganism, and then return to the host for breeding. This has made it possible to analyze the genes and to produce a substance coded by that gene, for example, insulin. For a wider range of utilization of recombinant DNA technology, it is absolutely important to confirm its safety. In compliance with the national request, RIKEN established in October 1984 Life Science Research Center, incorporating the higher level physical containment facilities, the first in Japan, in Tsukuba Science City, north of Tokyo. Being underway here are the clarification of cancer-causing mechanisms, the development of monoclonal antibody and new vector-type hosts, in addition to standardizing safety levels for recombinant DNA studies. At the same time, joint research with and exchange of information among researchers, both in Japan and abroad, are constantly carried out. The completion of this research center further enhances the safety of recombinant DNA experiments and is expected to step up extensive genetic studies in Japan, ranging from basic research to applications. It has been generally believed that microorganisms prefer a neutral pH medium. Rickens Microbial Ecology Laboratory has, however, discovered alkalophilic microorganisms which grow under very alkaline conditions. These microorganisms are the basis of an entirely new branch of fermentation technology called alkaline fermentation. The laboratory has also produced pure cyclodextrin on an industrial scale for the first time using an enzyme from alkalophilic bacteria. Cyclodextrin is a cyclic molecule composed of glucose units. Certain compounds, for example, benzaldehyde, can be trapped in a molecule and stabilized. Cyclodextrin is absolutely non-toxic, and the Japanese Ministry of Health and Public Welfare has permitted the use of this compound as a food additive. Applications in pharmaceuticals and agrochemicals are also expanding. Also attracting wide attention currently is the research on DNA, which can help Escherichia coli secrete its products out of the body, and that on genetic synthesis of human growth hormones. The human and animal intestines are inhabited by various kinds of germs, such as bifidobacteria and bacteroids. This bacterial group is called intestinal flora. Since most of the intestinal bacteria are anaerobic, it has been extremely difficult to culture these bacteria. 
Rikin has successfully developed a new culture method with the discovery of nearly 20 different bacteria, winning international recognition. Rekin's research on intestinal flora began with the development of a culture method in 1958 with the aim of contributing to the health of man and animals. Efforts are also made on clarification of pathological problems. Microorganisms are playing an increasingly important role in many fields of life science. In order to promote microorganism research, Rikin has established the Japan Collection of Microorganisms, JCM, to maintain and distribute authentic cultures of microorganisms. As a member of Japan Federation of Culture Collections, JCM collects, identifies and classifies microorganisms, long-term preservation techniques are developed and cultures and information distributed to the scientific community. JCM also operates as a data bank. Since the early 1960s, Riken has been under the government project to develop new pesticides as Japan's sole research group in this field. The effectiveness of some pesticides cannot be judged in the test tube since they prove effective only when sprayed on plants. Studies must therefore be made in terms of three closely related factors, pathogens or pests, chemicals and crops. An antibiotic, called polyoxin, developed by Rickens Laboratories, kills disease-causing fungi by, for example, preventing cell wall synthesis of the pathogen, which causes black spot disease on pears. This antibiotic is perfectly non-toxic to man and livestock. Also underway at the laboratories is research on pesticides to be made from substances known to be safe to man and animals but effective on only harmful fungi, pest insects and weeds. The deeper and broader our basic studies, the greater will be the effectiveness of the applied sciences built on these studies. Such effectiveness can only be achieved if all the researchers in diverse specialized fields maintain close contact with one another. In constant pursuit of this ideal, Riken continues to exert every effort towards the advancement of science and technology for all mankind.